Hey guys, uh, sorry for not doing this one outside. It's actually freaking cold out. It is 27 degrees, so yeah, not happening. I uh, don't know what the rest of the week's going to be like, but I don't think it's supposed to get above 35. So, anyway, without further ado, this is actually an update to my 18th century gear video. A, few, a couple things have been updated and added. Another thing has been purchased just very recently, just waiting for it to come foot to arrive which is freaking awesome uh so like i said without further ado again you saw this it's my knapsack uh got the got that fixed finally that drove me nuts uh the way i got it is that this of course like i have this this actually comes out all the way down to my waist so and i can go a little further if i want it uh, again, if I was wearing some bulky uh, winter clothing, uh, several layers of wool, I could still carry it without a problem. Uh, of course, spoon I made with that crook, crooked knife. Uh, this was actually really long. I cut. It was supposed to only be it was supposed to be about like that long, but I didn't snap off properly, so I had to fix it. And it's kind of a kind of not perfect in here but you know for right now this is fine uh once i get back to maine get some merch definitely uh work on some better one uh, decided not to do the um noggin because well i already got me a good cup uh realizing that this is most likely is an original but it's actually so beat up kind of tarnished in spots it's probably not worth much at all. So it's just a user. Uh, and if, even if I try to polish it up, it would reduce the value anyway. Uh, it's it's a good cup. I like it. It is heavy brass. Again, pretty sure it's, it's actually is a period piece. There, because a there's no markings on it whatsoever. B, I have not seen anybody selling brass tankards. Reproductions. So, and of course, I found this up in Le Lebanon, Maine. So, it was up in New England. So, that is what I'm going off of, off of. So, I mean, it could be a reproduction. I hope it is, but if it's not, like I said, it's kind of beat up. It's kind of tarn so, too tarnished. So, okay. Uh, of course, bag come goes in. Just so that nothing gets scratched up and nothing, it doesn't get scratched up. So, okay. And the new piece of gear is, well, this. Uh, it's a small market wall. It's going to be going on the belt with my belt pouch. Uh, what I got is my folding knife, which you've seen before. Uh, t it, well, a 10, uh, that's uh, currently empty. My uh, four striker that was done for me by, in a... Uh, um, Peregrine and a, a, some shredded up, fluffed up jute. So once I get some church punk wood into that tin, I'll have a full uh, 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 fire bag plus my pocket knife. I don't know what else is going to go in there, but of course we got my housewife or housewife. Uh, I have some. Hemp I got from Walmart. This is surprisingly some really thin stuff. It makes would make some great great uh, song thread, some heavy duty thread. So instead of linen, I got hemp, which I don't know if that was used historically, but this is what I have. So okay, what have we got now? We're at four minutes, so that's actually pretty good. I'm actually trying to get this under ten minutes. So of course. Uh, my knife, the sheath here. Uh, I'm not too sure about the heat treat. Uh, I can get it pretty sharp, but it doesn't really like stay too sharp. So I may have just screwed that up. I may have to try to take the handle off, try it again. I want to save the handle. Oh my, I mean, jeez, look at this thing. Look how beautiful this is. Yes, I know they say, oh, you want to all that black and all the pine pitch to, uh, as a filler. That's all. Um, it is an extrapolation, but it was available at the time, especially in New England. <laughs> this is where I got the 
pitch in the first place. So, I mean, it fits good in the hand. I like it. But if for some reason the heat treat doesn't work and I, if I try it again and it really fails, I got this one. Uh, I need to make a new cheese for it. But I'm probably thinking rawhide. Uh, might even might try uh, or, or oiling it up to soften it a bit. But uh, do have some uh, beef fat, beef and turkey fat. I got that I need to render down. Well, it has been rendered down. I just need to come find a uh, better uh, uh, a better container so I can actually carry it with me. I will also be purchasing some beeswax and. And it, like next paycheck is like twenty three dollars for a, uh, two pounds, which is actually the cheapest I found. It is beef are expensive these days, so that's that's a uh, figure sharpening. Yeah, I know it's modern, but it's what I got right now until I can find something better. So the rock just doesn't do well. It was too smooth. I need something a little bit rougher. To get these two, two up. Uh, of course, we got my tomahawk, which is off, off over that way. Uh, of course, bell pouch. I made out uh, my own books again. I don't know where my freaking stupid uh, um, all went because, but that's part of the year as well. I may end up having to make a second one. Uh, this time, just using use, make, using wood for the handles of. Uh, um, antler. That, but that'd be the third one I've made. The first one I made was out of a really nice piece of uh, a young crown. So it was, it was spike horn that I lumped off. But it was oh, beautiful. It got lost in the move. Then I made the, the second one out of another chunk of antler. That, not not a crown, but you know. That's the one I, the current one I have, which I can't find. Although I do have another piece of moose antler that I could probably use. Okay, anyway, um, this is just my fire bag, uh, shirt, and a linen bag that I made out. Uh, the, the heavy lens of that was the, the skirt, cherry pump wood, and of course. My striker. Oh, actually, I don't have that right here, but I do have a bag I made um, out of uh, black leather, which I need to buy something a little bit better. Uh, that goes for my uh, kindling, the bird's nest material. Like I said, I got some jute in here for that, but this is my backup. It's just a way to carry my knife and probably a couple other things. Uh, if I go to any events, I'll carry my wallet, my keys, that sort of stuff. So that it looks, I have a pretty correct look, but I still have uh, my ID and all that good stuff. Uh, of course, I'm not. I'm sure I'm not the only one who came up, kind of come up with that. Um, bow. Uh, Blakey Thomas told me several times that this is pretty correct. Uh, they have used bows. I don't have. He never gave me any ref any of the uh, reference material. Uh, I did ask him recently, so hopefully he'll come with that. If anybody else has references to that, please let me know. I'm pretty sure the wood is not historically uh, accurate. We didn't, I'm sure that uh, Red Oak was not used by the natives. It was mostly hickory and ash, so have to get back on, have to get do that, some, get some of that some, at some point to make a new bow. But the string is linen, it's just actually same linen as this stuff. Uh, and string holds, I have full draw. I'm actually really happy though. I have a historically accurate looking bow as far as the design goes. It is an East, generic Eastern Woodland. So I got natural string material, uh, arrows. Uh, right now I'm not going to be making any more. I got my red oak shafted ones I, I've already made. I'm going to be using just trade points because bodkins, which is what Black was describing the other night, are expensive and difficult to make. 
and illegal in most states. So I could use them out here in Missouri, but I'm going to go back to Maine relatively soon. So I won't, I can't use that because they have to be 7 8 inch wide. So that's going to be a, that would be a big heavy piece of steel. So tree point is all I got, and I'll just be making those out of uh, Dollar Tree spoons. Yeah, I know it's stainless, but for my own private hunting, I don't care. Okay, so that's it for the majority of the gear. Nothing behind me. I know I'll be needing, um, you know, like I said, I'll need something decent to use for. The only piece of gear right now is going to change to this. Uh, because, well, if I can find something to use out here, or at least for me right now, I don't have access to rivers or lakes. Right also, I can't use stream tumbled rocks. The one I did find was actually at work, part of the landscaping. Uh, not too thrilled for that, but when I get back to Maine, <laughs> I'll be hitting beaches, and I'm sure I know I'll probably find something good. Uh, there's some stones I have around here that might work better. I can try those if I can find them again. That's something about it's for my. Um, I use them for hammer stones. Anywho, uh, one piece of kit you haven't seen yet. Gear. I hate, I hate using that word. Kit. I just don't like it. Anyway, uh, is my copper, my, ugh, not copper, although I would love to have a copper one. Uh, uh, my brass 10 line kill. I uh, finally ordered that one up. I found, it's the cheapest I found, and I had a little bit of money, so. I hit buy. Normally I wouldn't do that, but. Every other place I've found it has been more expensive, and one place I found and saw that was cheapest up till now, no longer has it. So, okay. Uh, I've one other thing I have tried uh, boiled chocolate finally, Unsweet, unsweetened, uh, obviously, Baker's chocolate. It actually goes to the a year right before the end of the Revolutionary War, so technically, if you're doing Rev Warrior very late and you're into the early uh, uh, War of 1812, this is quite accurate. Uh, I would guess, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, don't, I couldn't find Muscovado sugar, but I did find uh, Turbinado sugar. Uh, I've looked at the difference. It is a larger grain, so it looks historically accurate. It's a, it's a lighter color. Uh, it has the same sweetness as uh, you know, regular uh, grain lady sugar, the white sugar. But it has a slight molasses flavor to it. So, But yeah, I tried it. And of course I had it in this guy. So, And it actually tasted really good. And it's not the holy crap wake up kind of thing, but it's like, oh nice. So that's it. We have stopped at about 15 minutes, so so when I do get my uh, cow, I'll do a video showing it off. Uh, if anybody wants to know where I got some of the stuff, uh, leave me a the description or PM me, and I'll give you the links for the most part. Other other stuff I I partially made. So okay, as usual, guys, have fun playing. I'll see you in the woods.